I'm Iira Rantala, a jazz pianist, classical pianist, composer, arranger and a band leader. And this is Iiros Hotline. You have sent me great questions about music and life. And now I will provide you my answers to my best knowledge. All of this for free! Welcome to Eros Hotline. Stefan is asking about the special sounds I use on my Finnish calendar album. Let me open up for you. What I did was that first I composed the piano music, then I designed uh, this special track, like a percussion track, to back it up, then I recorded the special track, and then when I have a concert, I have the special percussion track in the background, and I play the, the composition by myself. Let me show you uh, the. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me. Let me show you some of my special sounds. The bass drum sound. The snare sound the wedding ring comes very handy on this one then uh, a kabasa sound uh, which can be heard on the tune july use your nails you don't need a, a manicure after this or pedicure, I'm not sure. And then the high string uh, staccato sound, which can be heard on tune February. Very difficult to play. But I'm not good with my fingers anyway, so... And then the towel sound. You put the towel here, very tight, like this. And here. This I use in May and August on my Finnish calendar. And it sounds like this. It's actually too tight, it goes out of tune. So the amount of tightness is really essential here. Much better. It's a really cool sound. And one more. Uh, damping the string with your finger sounds like this. You can move your finger around the string, the sound changes. third hand. Laura is asking regarding improvisation, how to develop that aspect. Well, my advice would be just start to improvise. Put your hands on the keyboard, start to play something and eventually something good will come out if you just keep doing that. And remember, your own head, particularly the ears, 
are your worst enemy because your head is telling you, oh, this is no good, oh, this sounds stupid, oh, I'm no good. <laughs> Ignore your head, just keep doing it. Every day, play something and I guarantee you something great will come out sooner or later, usually later. You'll be an old woman by then. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just keep doing it. Put your hands down to see. The most boring key of all keys. Just play something. so sure about that particular impro I did. I mean, it was quite boring. It, it really didn't develop so well. Uh, it sounded like I'm in a coma. It was so... So this is exactly what your head does to you. Ignore it. It was great. It was awesome. It was fantastic. It was like top 40. It was, I mean, it's, it's a hit. Uh, Nico is asking three of my favorite pianists, both jazz and classical, and what is their most influential album for me? Well, jazz first. Um, number one, Keith Jarrett, My Song album. Michel Petrucciani, Playground album. And Chick Corea, my Spanish heart. Don't get confused about this. There is a singer in Seoul and she calls herself a chick from Korea. It's, it's totally different. <coughs> and then the top three classical pianists and their recordings. Um, Arthur Rubinstein, Carnegie Hall, 1961, Grigory Sokolov, the Salzburg recital, and Klein Gould plays Bach, Goldberg variations. My favorite musician of last century is definitely Leonard Bernstein. I just love everything he did as a pianist, as a composer, as a conductor, and as an educator. He really worked his beautiful ass of educating people, opening up the classical music for regular people, for them to enjoy the music even more. Great job, Lenny. <laughs> 